Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. Now, we all love new beginnings, and sometimes we all need new beginnings. There are some amazing people who have came to Key West, and they have received just that. My first guest this morning, he received his fresh start through the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition. He has gone through a total transformation from being homeless and living in his car to now becoming a thriving member of the community and a very successful chef. George, thank you so much for being on with me today. Well, thank you for having me on this morning. George, your story is so interesting. Now, you have always been a very successful chef. You've worked in various places throughout the country, including Colorado, New Orleans, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket. You've always been stable on your two feet until this past winter when things just totally went downhill. What happened? Well, I... Uh, finished my contract for the Vail Corporation in Colorado. I came back to uh, my hometown in Amarillo and I went through a sudden nasty divorce and I uh, ended up having to leave Texas uh, and it was, it was winter and I had two choices. I could either go to New York City or head south to Key West and I knew the season was open here in Key West and it was February and so I decided I better go somewhere warm. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Yes. Good choice. And now, George, when you came to Key West, you had to live in your vehicle. Yes. Usually I, I have a, I arrange uh, for my jobs ahead of time before I head out. But this was so sudden I didn't have time. So I came to Key West before I had a job. Mm -hmm. And it uh, took longer than I would have liked to land a job and as the weeks went by things got worse mm -hmm. and uh, that's at that point when I reached out to the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition for help. Mm -hmm. And you walked through those doors and they were kind of able to give you that fresh start and that push that you really needed. Oh I was, I was in terrible shape at that point and uh, I was so grateful for their help um, first thing I did is I did laundry and I took a shower and I had a hot meal and I got up the next morning and the first thing I did is I walked out the door and got a job Wonderful. the very next day. Cooking. <laughs> Were you cooking? Yes, I, I, I got a position at the Southernmost Beach Cafe which is where I'm still employed. Mm -hmm. And George, it sounds like cooking is your passion. You just love it, don't you? Yes, I'm a, a certified executive chef with the American Culinary Federation. I've worked with two master chefs. Um, and I was a culinary instructor for the Vail Corporation as part of my uh, uh, job description. I've, I've cooked uh, for many years, for oh, 32 years I've been in the kitchens. Uh, didn't go to a culinary school. I started out as a dishwasher and worked my way up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You realized you had this gift for cooking and you could, you could make people happy by creating the masterpieces that you do. That's, that's my goal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you, you've done that. You have. And I know that right now, George, something that you're working on that you've even received some recognition for is a cooking show that you're hosting. It's on talk radio. Mm -hmm. And you've, some of the recognition that you've received is from the Food Network. Tell us about that. Well, I am a co-host on a blog talk radio cooking show. Um, it's on Friday evenings between 8 and 10. It's gone to two-hour shows now. And that's how the cooking channel uh, came across us. We are uh, right now in the process of working with the cooking channel for uh, a cooking show. And um, I was with, if they decide to pick us up in December, I'll have to travel to New York City to do the tapings, which is fine, but I was talking to them and they, I said I wanted to do a show about Key West because I love Key West and I, I want to make this a, my permanent uh, place and I want to do a cooking show here in Key West and the, the cooking channel says they don't do that, <clears throat> they have specific studios. Food Network on uh, the other hand does do local um, cooking shows and so they referred me to the Food Network. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I've been talking to them about doing a show, Cooking in Key West, with Chef George Norell. And um, 
Tomorrow night, I will be do, I'll be taping the three minute introduction video uh, for the Cooking Channel and the Food Network. Mm -hmm. And so I'm looking at uh, trying to get two different shows going on uh, television. Well, good. You'll have to keep us posted and updated on all of that, George. And George, what would you say is your goal for yourself and your career here in the next year or two? I would love to be able to uh, seriously settle in um, and become a very supportive member of Key West. I want to promote Key West. Uh, I want to let people know what a great place Key West is and how much opportunity there really is for somebody who has the skills and has the drive to become successful here in Key West. Mm -hmm. And even if you come down here and find out this it's, it's kind of it's a hard place to get started in as I found out mm -hmm. you know thanks for FKOC for helping me mm -hmm. get over that hump <laughs> right you got that fresh start and there's a lot of other people who can also get that fresh start right here too absolutely all you have to do is have the desire you know and the work ethic to make yourself successful wonderful George it's been a pleasure talking with you and again you have to keep us posted on everything all right absolutely <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick break right now I'll be right back after these messages there's much more to come this morning stay with me